morning, guys. Today is Wednesday, August the 7th, and welcome back to Glenda Sully's Kitchen. And today I'm going to be cooking a big old pot of Southern Navy beans. So y'all get your pencil and pad out and start writing down the recipe. And um, I will give you the ingredients and the, the measurements to the best of my ability. Um, being a Southern cook, we don't really measure a lot of things. So uh, you're going to be on your own when it comes to measuring the spices. But I just wanted to show y'all my, um, I know you've seen it before, my Irish blessing. And this is from my good friend and uh, fellow YouTuber, ASMR Soothing Sounds. And um, she and her husband and family do live in Ireland. And she sent me this Irish blessing, which I will always have on my door as long as I live in this studio apartment. And it's, um, may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. And it has the, the Irish knots on it there and the, the four-leaf clovers. So thank you for that. I absolutely love it. So uh, I'm going to put my camera and tripod in the sink. I still haven't figured out the very best um, setup yet to do my cooking videos, but I will. It just takes time. Um, Okay, so I got my big pot here, and let me show you what I've used. Um, just, um, well, actually, it's still a 16-ounce bag of, um, of navy beans. I'm surprised um, they haven't cut it down to 14-ounce like everything else and, and still charge the same or more. But it's just a bag of navy beans, and you will need to wash these very well. Um, you know, just put them in your colander and... Let the water run over them, and then I usually put them in my pot, and then stir them around and wash them, and then drain that off, and then um, wash them a couple of more times. Now, back when I was raising my family in the in the 70s and 80s, when we would get a, this thing is crooked, when I would get a pound bag of beans, they would have little stones in them. So, back then, you couldn't just wash them and, and um rewash them over and over you actually had to kind of spread them out and and sort them out and remove the stones because nobody wanted to eat stones in their beans <laughs> oh, okay so let me show you what else so we've got the beans and then um i purchased a well it's not a pound bag now this is um we are getting shorted on the hillshire farm but it's um i bought the postco kielbasa because I do like the, um, it's the pork, turkey, and beef blend. And this is a 14-ounce package. And what you'll want to do with that is just um, cut it into little round slices. Let me see if I can get this not quite so crooked, y'all. <clears throat> and then I had some ham uh, chunks left over from the ham that I baked a few months ago. So... I didn't put a lot in here because I don't want my beans to be too greasy or salty. So I just cut up a few few little chunks of the ham. And, and I have two bay leaves in here. Just threw them in here. And I do want to say, um, give a little thank you to my very good friend and subscriber. Now it's crooked this way, y'all. I have my old tripod in the car that I use when I go down to the lake, but uh, I may have to get it out because it's broken, but it it works in different ways than this one does. This one, the little um, thing that goes up and down is broken. I don't know why these tripods don't last longer than they do, but I wanted to say thank you to Paula. Uh, she lives in Sonoma County, California, and she sent me this strainer. And this measuring cup, which I love. And y'all, look, she sent me these little um, little pot holders. <laughs> they just fit on the, the tip of your hands. And they have the, the silicone. So thank you, Paula. I really appreciate these uh, gifts for my kitchen. I, I was in need of utensils and, and um, 
some things in my kitchen, so I appreciate that. Y'all just bear with me while I try to um, figure this tripod out. I'm, I'm really having difficulty this morning. I think it might be because I'm out of practice. <laughs> it's been a couple of months since I came in here and cooked for y'all. Okay, so you saw the navy beans and the um, sausage. Let me throw these away. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in my sausage and ham. Now what I'm going to do, these are going to be slow cooked all day in the oven. It's about 10 a.m., so I'm going to set the oven to 250. Now normally I would set it to um, 450 and then stick the beans in that hot oven for about 10 minutes and then turn it down to 250. But because of my short-term memory, which I no longer have a possession of, it's... it's it took a hike a long time ago. Now, my long-term memory, y'all, I can remember everything. But um, anyway, so the reason that I'm not doing that, I'm just going to start out with a 250-degree oven. So um, I will get the beans hot, though, on top of the stove before I put them in the oven. So let's get started with the ingredients. Okay, so um, I'm going to use a little of the Tony Chasseries. This is it. It's the original Creole seasoning. And the ingredients are salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili powder, garlic, and something to prevent caking. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in here. Now my daughter Jill, she doesn't cook with salt and pepper. Well, she does use a little black pepper, but most of her seasoning um she does use a lot of the Tony Chasseries. So that's the Tony Chasseries. And then I'm just going to put a little salt. I don't know how much, y'all. Probably a half a teaspoon. And then let's add a little um, onion powder and garlic powder. Just sprinkle a little bit in there. Just um, remember, you... I don't know why this cake frustrates me. You know, just taste of your beans after they've cooked a couple of hours. And if you need to add more salt and pepper and garlic powder and onion powder, you know, just go ahead and do that. And I love black pepper, so we're going to go heavy-handed on the black pepper. Okay. I'm go ahead and stir that in there. Let me turn the burner on so it can start cooking and getting hot. The reason I cook my beans in the oven, in a slow oven, is um, instead of a crock pot is because I like the thick juice that, uh, that I get by the oven cooking, which I don't, I don't get that in the crock pot. So here's my secret ingredient, the Tony Chasseries, um, I'm sorry. The Lee and Perrins, I get all these company names mixed up. Lee and Perrins, original Worcestershire sauce. Just put a few little sprinkles of that, probably a fourth of a teaspoon. And then I have my McElhenney Company Tabasco sauce. This doesn't look too good. I better smell of it. It's not the, the right color. It smells good. I mean, it's vinegar. I don't know. I don't think it goes bad. Probably an eighth of a teaspoon of that. Just a few little shakes. And then I have my Trinity in the Pope. So the Trinity is the onion. And y'all saw that bag of onions that I bought Monday at Wegmans. They were tiny. So I chopped up two onions. I'm going to dump those in. And y'all have asked me about these little colanders. Now, I bought them about 10 years ago at Home Goods, but they do have them on Amazon. And it's a set of three, a little tricolored. The little red one, the blue one. I already lost a handle on this one. And then the little green one. So I'll leave the Amazon link below. And if you purchase it using my link, then I will receive a small. A very small commission from Amazon for, for your purchase, and I appreciate that. 
Okay, then, um, the second part of the Trinity is the celery. So this is four of the little celery sticks. I just, you just cut them up however you'd like to eat your celery. So let's dump that in. I ran out of room in there, so I had to add some of what I had in, in with the bell peppers. But this is that one big bell pepper that I bought at Wegmans. Just chop it up. Y'all, I used to not put bell pepper in my beans because I, for some reason, I didn't like the taste of it. But um, over the years, my tastes have changed, and um, and I like the taste of it now. And then, so that's the Trinity. You know, in Louisiana and New Orleans, we call the bell pepper, the celery, and the onions the Trinity. And then, then the um, the big gun is the Pope, and that's the garlic. <laughs> and this is probably about eight eight little garlic toes. I call them toes, y'all, because that's what they look like, little toes. You just use it um, according to how you and your family like it. Um, now, if you choose to use turkey bacon or turkey sausage, you know, that's up to you. But with the turkey sausage, you're not going to have the fat and you're not going to have the flavoring. So, um, I think if I were you, I would add a can of, um, a can of chicken broth in it. Because you do want your beans to have a lot of flavor. So I did open the olive oil, and this is um, made by my good friend uh, Zeus. He sent it to me when he sent me the gummy bears, and it is um, garlic-infused olive oil, and you can see it has has bay leaves in it, and it has thyme and all kinds of uh, herbs and and seasonings in here. So I'm going to add some of this. I've already been using it to cook with, and it is... It is out of this world, y'all. So let's add a little bit of um, Zeus Phillips olive oil. Thank you, Zeus. And uh, he's supposed to be making a big announcement on my channel. In the comments, I believe it's today, um, he had to get some final documents taken care of with his lawyers yesterday. And uh, he's supposed to make a big announcement, so Zeus and I are very excited about that. <laughs> so I'm just going to wait for these to come to a boil, and let's talk a little bit. Um, let me wash this sticky garlic off my fingers. So guys, my channel has been doing very well. Um, the subscribers had taken a dive there for about a month. And that was because, um, you know, in the beginning when y'all came over from the, um, the Social Security, the Real Life on Social Security video, I think it was February, it was the end of January that um, YouTube put it in a lot of they just distributed it all over and suggested it over and over and over. And that's where I got 18,000 new subscribers within 48 hours. <laughs> Y'all, that was so overwhelming. I thought I was going to have a stroke. Um, but I, I want to thank you for coming over and bearing with me because during the first two weeks of February, all I did was lay on that sofa and answer comments. I answered close to 5,000 comments, and it did take me about two weeks because I mean if you leave a comment I'm going to read it you better believe I'm going to read it um, sometimes I might uh, delete it I may not agree with what you say or maybe I don't want it on my channel it just depends but 99% of the time your comment does get published and it does get answered um, I may not write out a long answer but I will at least say thank you or thank you so much or I appreciate your kindness, and, you know, I do my best. Let's just say I do my best. And, 
it does get to be overwhelming. Um, I know on the days that I post a video that it's, it's going to be a long day, probably about, about 14 or 16 hours of work. But I enjoy it. I love it. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I just, I love my YouTube channel. And I love the interaction that I have with you, uh, each and every one of you. So I just want you to know how I appreciate you. And I'm grateful. Thank you so much. So um, <clears throat> I did go on Wikipedia, y'all. Do y'all use Wikipedia all the time? Um, I know I do. I don't know what I would do without it. And today they were asking for donations for, I think, $2.75. So, um, of course, you can donate however much you want to to keep their site running because they don't do any advertising. So, I mean, they, they do offer a great service. And um, to me, it's worth a donation to help Wikipedia keep on going. So I was able to give them a little bit of a donation this morning because they're always answering my questions for me. And uh, today I asked them about um, this product, you know, Tony Chasseries. I, I was interested in knowing the history. Um, my major in college was history, and I just absolutely love, still to this day, I love history. Uh, so I asked him about Tony Chasseries. Um, I wish I could memorize it, but y'all, this 68-year-old brain <laughs> ain't thinking about no memory, let me tell you. But uh, he was born in 1905, and he died in 1995, and he was an American businessman and a chef. So, um, and his original product was this product, the Tony Chasseries Original Creole Seasoning. And um, so he worked his whole life as a chef, and then he retired in um, 1972. Let me check on my beans just a minute. I love this little thing. It reminds me of um, Sherry Lewis and, and uh, Lamb Chop. <laughs> Y'all remember her, that ventriloquist? And little Lamb Chop, he was so cute. You would have thought that somebody, another ventriloquist, would have picked up on that and, and carried on that legend. But I don't think that they did. What was the name of the ventriloquist that won America's Got Talent? Rick, was that his name? He's been doing these headliner shows in Las Vegas. He's, uh, he's awesome. I wish I could remember his name. Anyway, so Tony Chassery, um, so it, he retired from being a chef in 1972, and um, so he fulfilled his lifelong dream, and that was to publish a cookbook. And so in the cookbook and all of the recipes that he had, he, the reason for his cookbook was um, to record the recipes of his beloved South Louisiana cuisine. So in the cookbook, he included his recipe for his favorite seasonings, which were these ingredients that I just read to you. So everybody started writing into the publisher of his cookbook and wanting to know, you know, where can we buy Tony Chessery's seasonings? So he hired four people, and they um, started working in a warehouse, and it's in um, the facility started in Op Opelousas. I don't know if it's Opelousas. Okay, Cajun friends. <laughs> you got to let me know how to pronounce it. I think it's Opelousas, Louisiana. So he started there with four employees making his Tony Chassery seasonings. So he started selling it by going along the Gulf Coast, and he was driving in his old um, International Scout, and he had hand-painted on the doors of it um, Tony Chassery's Creole Seasonings. So, um, so, like I said, he did take to the road, and then he um, did sell it to the supermarkets. And to this day, they still operate out of the same facility in Opelousas, Louisiana, but today they have over 75 employees. And I'm very proud of this family. It is still being run by um, Tony's grandson, and um, his name is Don. So, 
I just want to you to know how proud I am of you and I'm very proud of these American entrepreneurs and that that goes for my good friend Marie who is the the maker the inventor and the maker and um, the female owner of this great American company called Scarfy International so I'm expecting a shipment from her and she's going to send me some fall and winter Scarfies and she has a new Scarfie coming out and it has hood a hood on it so that's going to be in a giveaway coming up so let's see if these beans are hot and we're going to put them in the slow oven and then i'll be back tonight and i um, show you the the finished product and we're going to eat us a, a big old plate full of navy beans <laughs> so here we go really have to bring them to a ball. I just um I just wanted to get a head start before I put them in that slow oven. Now, you can either like I said, you can either start them here on the up on the stove top or you can just put them in a 450 degree oven for 10 minutes, but um you got to make sure you set your timer and don't don't leave them in that 450 degree oven or you you'll have a bean explosion all over the house. It's bad enough eat, eating the beans, and uh, beans, beans are good for your heart, but the more you eat, the more you fart. <laughs> so you don't want your beans farting in your oven and, and blowing up and making a big old oven mess. So I'm going to put them in this 250 degree oven, and then we'll be back about 4 or 5 o'clock today, and we'll eat us a mess of beans.